Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid Morning Manor. Glad you've tuned in today. We're going to have a great day. Whether you're tuned in morning, noon, or night, it's going to be a wonderful time just to find out how the Word of God can help you, and especially if you've memorized the Word of God, if you have it in your heart, and you have it in your mind, and you have it in your life, uh, then as you meditate on the Word of God, it'll help you in many ways. And uh, we've talked about this week already, we've talked about how it will help prevent sin in Psalm 119.11, thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. And then we talked about how uh, memorized scripture can influence children. And that was a pretty lengthy passage, but it's found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. You want to have an influence on your children? Then get them in the word of God. Help them to memorize just some basic Bible verses that will be in their heart, in their head and in their heart uh, for years to come. They'll, they'll have that all of their life, and it can make a difference in their life. Then third thing I want you to think about as memorized scripture reminds you of the assurance that you have for those of you who are saved. If you're saved, having some memorized scripture in your heart can help you and bless you. And the verse I want to go to is in 1 John chapter number 2 and verse number 3. And listen what the Lord says here through the Apostle John as he penned this uh, passage. It says, and hereby do we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Hereby do we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. That's the verse. Now, don't forget the address of that verse. It's always important to know the address. First John 2, 3. That's pretty easy. 1, 2, 3. First John 2, 3. Three And we hereby do we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. You know what? When you're keeping God's commandments and when you're doing as a Christian, you keep his commandments and do what you know you're supposed to do. It's amazing how that assurance just flows in your life. You know that you're saved and you don't have any doubt about it and, you, and you're living for God and you have a testimony. You're being an influence on others and God is just using you in your role as a Christian. But I want to tell you something. If you're not keeping his commandments, there's some way that the devil can get in there and beat you down and cause you to doubt whether or not you're really saved you go through these periods and seasons of doubt and fear and wonder, and did I really do the right thing? And, and try to, you try to relive it in your mind a thousand times over, and uh, you pray now, Lord, if I'm not really sure, I pray that today you'll help me to be sure, all those kind of things. If you're keeping his commandments and living for him, I'm going to tell you, there's a peace and there's an encouragement and there's an assurance that comes your way. Listen to it again, 1 John chapter 2, verse number 3. And hereby do we know him, or I'm sorry, hereby do we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So I want to challenge you today as you read the Bible, as you go to church and hear the teaching and preaching of God's word, I want to challenge you to ask God to help you to keep his commandments, to do what he says for you to do, to be obedient and, and to be surrendered, to be yielded and to be useful to him in your daily life. Let God use you. Let God bless you. Let God help you to have that full assurance. And you know, it's that full assurance Christian that has that positive knowledge that they know they're going to heaven that gives them a little bit more boldness in their testimony, in their witnessing. And it also helps them to be a little bit more attractive to those who are lost and would like to be saved as they watch you and see how you live and how you serve the Lord. It's a, what, a, what a wonderful thing that God could use you in such a way. Well, let's pray together. We'll go off with some beautiful music. Heavenly Father, thank you for the Word of God. Thank you, Lord, that we can have the Word of God stored away in our heart, in our mind, and it's there for the Holy Spirit to call up and remind us of, of that assurance that we have through Christ. God bless us, and we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. To his master plan, for he has a work for you that nobody else can do. Won't you put your life into the master's hand? He has 
has made a call. It's a call to one and all. There is much to do, but the laborers are few. The harvest field is ripe, and so swiftly comes the night. Won't you put your life into the master's hand? to fear he's promised to be near and he will guide you all along the way he will give to you strength to do what you must do if you'll put your life into the master's hand put your life into the master's hand Master's hand.